Hello everyone, welcome back to this game. When we last left off, we found the location of Mallow's parents. Now that we know they're safe, we can take on Valentina. However, she ain't having none of that and ran away. Oh, there's something else I want to try. See if I can get past you two without triggering your fights. Oh, it does wear out. I heard that the star power does not wear out at all until you reach a certain point. And I kind of believed it because... There is a point where it seems like the star power always wears out. Let's do this for real. We at least have time to come back for these guys. Yep, it always wears out right before you... Or right as, rather, you get to Dodo. You know... The story arc has definitely had some cartoony moments. Right now, Prince Mello is bathing in the hot springs. It must be so relaxing. Well, uh, considering the spring's healing properties and the fact that we just one-shot the dude with a star power, I can understand why he'd want to be in there. Hot springs are up ahead, but only royalty can bathe there. You don't look so royal. Okay, just about boss time here. Is there anything I want to do with equipment? Any preparations with items? Why do, uh, what items do I want? Well, pick me up will possibly be useful. Got Kira Colas. Did I use up all those Yoshi cookies? Darn, I wanted to save one for the next fight. Yeah, I think I get everything I want Yoshi cookies aside. Queen Valentina! So, the Queen's escape plan was to escape out the back, only to come back into the castle. Sure, they'll never think to find her there. That's like the first place they would look. Queen Valentina, is the King showing any improvement? And how is his wife, the old queen? Oh, there is another queen. And Tubby, <laughs> Prince Mallow, where is he hiding these days? Know what I think? I think, get out of here. The truth is, get out of here. The truth is, know what I think? I think, ah! Pipe down, all of you. I have better things to do than listen to your half-wit opinions. And look, while well, I've been wasting my time listening to your endless chatter, Mario has managed to find me. You know, I'm actually kind of curious. What do they think? Dodo! Dodo! Ooh, that bird has a permanent brain cramp. Ow. Dodo, do you hear me? Get over here now. I need some help. Entertaining Mario. So move it! Come here now! Dodo! Dodo! Come here this minute! Don't just sit there! Help me! And this is a thing. Oh boy, 
Alright, you know, it's actually kind of appropriate this is going on. First things first, what's going on? Well, at the start of the fight, Dodo always takes whoever party member is sitting in the middle of your team. In this situation, it happened to be Mallow. So then, we have a battle of the Mallows. The real prince versus the fake. And this is why I wanted the fright bomb. That'll give Mallow here a better chance. But the real Mallow a better chance at surviving this fight. How unfortunate that he got muted. What else do we got for attacks? Could use a rock candy. I could also could use a red essence for further... Ooh, ooh! Ooh, Energizer! So, afflicting fear so your attacks don't hurt as much. And also got Nala's attack boosted. So I'm not causing a whole lot of damage though. Let's go ahead and... Use the Star Egg. That'll cause a bit of extra damage. I think that does, in fact, get boosted by the attack item we just used. Yep. And that'll do it. Okay, phase two. Valentina. She's a toughie. Immune to all status afflictions. Unlike Birdo. Strong against ice as well. Let's see what Crusher will do. Oh my goodness, this game has boob physics. Really? Okay, sure. That bird on her head is also feeling the pain, it seems. Oh, I need to time that attack better. Alright! Valentina! Boy, she's got a lot of magic attacks on hand. I want to say she's got like eight different spells on her. Okay, you're strong against ice. Let's try fire. We'll do ultra flame for extra damage. That works. Dodo? How could you lose already? Well, come on. Get over here! What is it with Valentina and birds anyway? She's got guards dressed as birds. She's got a bird henchman. She's wearing a bird on her head. No oh boy. And she also enlisted the aid of Birdo. Solely because her name is Bird O. Glad we picked up that, that pick me up. Oh, freebie, nice. You're still muted. That'll wear out eventually. For now. Oh, if you're still muted, that means you also still have the boost from the Energizer. So... Okay, let's try poison. Get things going a little bit faster here. Dodo's got plenty of health. So poison damage will help. Oh, that's gonna be a strong attack. 
Okay, Ultra Flame again, and here's the thing about Mario's Ultra Spells. You target one enemy for priority, kinda, but it actually hits random enemies. Oh, that's some good damage. Oh, and already you're taken care of. Too bad we couldn't get around to psychopathing Dodo. Oh, well. Oh, that's a hard hit. And that's a miss. It balanced out. Oh dear, I forgot you had that attack. Mistakes were made! Well, it's not like she's gonna use, uh, Pedal Blast a lot, right? Yeah, we got a recovery going on. Let's have a lot more recovery. Star Rain! Nice. That was worth it. <sighs> okay, uh... Too bad you can't be afflicted with status ailments. Oh wait! Mario's got- uh, Mallow's got her magic- Ma Mallow can magic! Magic time! Go at it, magic man! How we doing on this fight? Almost dead. I tell you, he's nothing. We'll let Mallow get the final blow. Let's shock her. I don't believe this. The show's over, folks. Dodo, let's get out of here. Well, everyone, until we meet again. <laughs> uh, that was the first boss that I've actually felt threatened by so far. Valentina is no joke depending on what spell she used. Oh boy, you know what other spell she has? She has a spell that inflicts sleep on your entire team. She has two spells that inflict spell sleep on your entire team. No two Valentina fights play out the same. She has that many spells on hand. Great. They're gone. Hurry! Let's go after her! I know she has the key! Ah! Boy, this is not really your day, huh? Now, Huh? Mario! Look! So I don't know if anybody remembers, the game only kind of told us a couple times early on, but when Mallow cries, it rains. The game really doesn't do a good job of reminding you that. I can imagine some people getting a little confused about it suddenly raining just then. Mom? Dad? I'd like you to meet Mario. And my other travel companions. I say, how can we ever thank you enough? I'm Mela's father. 
King Nimbus. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for looking after my dear child. Maddie says, I do remember, but I don't think I'd begrudge him some happy tears over finally seeing his parents. Oh yeah, definitely. Those tears were well deserved. I just think the joke of Mario pulling out the umbrella, knowing what's about to happen, would work a little bit better if it happened more than the one time. Allow me to introduce everyone. This is Princess Tolstol from Mushroom Kingdom. I like the little curtsy there. Ah, I've heard so much about you. May I have your autograph? Don't embarrass Junior, dear. Oh, never mind. And who is this gentleman here? This is Mario. He helped me from the start. I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't mean... THE Mario? Jumping Mario? Autograph, please! That's quite enough, dear. Okay, okay. Then... How about showing me just a little jump? A tiny hop will do! I pressed left. I didn't press jump, I pressed left. Oh, fantastic! Show me again later. <clears throat> and who do we have over here? Mrs. Bowser, leader of the Koopa Troop. Oh, another famous person. This is just too much. I must have your autograph. Dear... Behave yourself, please. No? Not even a little scribble? Okay, okay. You know, I am uh, so happy for Mello right now. He finally gets to experience what it's like to be embarrassed by his parents. Yes, yes. I'm quite forgetting my manners. Well, who do we have over here? Mrs. Gino, who I told you about before. Oh, yes. A story about the Star Street. How awful. That's Star Road. Everybody seems to have trouble remembering the name of this place. By the way, a little before Valentina took over, a large star fell into the volcano. Okay, I want to stop here for a moment, because I wonder what the story behind Mallow getting lost is. We know that Mallow was found floating down the pond in a basket, being found by Frogfucius. How did that happen? Clearly, it has noth nothing to do with Valentina taking over. That's completely unrelated, since Valentina's takeover was recent. So, what happened? Anyway, yes, important thing. Hmm, but this dreaded Tsar Dragon inhabits the volcano. It's going to be tough getting a star out of there. Hmm, perhaps all of you working together could handle that beast. Why, when I was young, I... Yes, dear. Now, once at the volcano, find Hinopia. Hinopio. He'll be able to help you. You be careful, Mallow. Okay, Mom. But I probably won't come back until we find the star. I like how Mallow has just been reunited with his family. And they're totally okay with sending him off to the volcano. Again, I wonder, how did Mallow get lost the first time? If you have any problems, come straight back, okay? Son, you're just like me when I was your age. 
I'm proud of you. That's foreboding. Star, or the, the save point is gone. And this has regenerated into a flower point. And now... All the statues have been replaced, apparently. And, uh... Everybody's back in the castle. Happy days! Long time no see, Prince Mello. My, have you grown, Prince? Oh! Birds! You know, I don't know if you noticed this, but all the bird cages were empty while we were going through here before saving the kingdom. Valentina definitely has a thing for birds. And the birds were all out of their cages. This is a headcanon fan theory, but I want to say that the reason Valentina took over was not because she wanted power, but because she was trying to save the birds. She felt bad for all the birds being locked up in their cages, so she took over and set them free. Unfortunately for all the birds, we kind of thwarted her plans and now all the birds are locked away again. The king gave me another job as a guard. Prince Mallow! Thank you so much. We were able to rescue my father with the king you gave us. Don't mention it. Besides, it was you who actually rescued him. Good luck in the future. You too. Prince! Here, this is from me. Please, take it. A flower jar. We've just about maxed out our flower points. I shall continue to work for the king with pride. Oh, you're right, this cage is empty. I wonder if there's some sort of significance to that. Did you know that there are hot springs around here? Yep. Etc. We're all able to serve the king again. But we left our houses wide open. Hope everything's alright. Foreshadowing. My, how you've grown, Prince. The king's happier than ever after being reunited with Milo. Okay, this room is cool. Having saved the kingdom, everybody has a statue now. Boy, Garo works fast. The statue... It... It seems so... Unworldly. Came to see the king's statue collection. I tell you, it's remarkable. Yeah, but they don't quite have Mario's likeness. You're looking especially fluffy today, Prince. Okay, I suddenly want to hug these people just to find out how squishy they are. Long time no see, Prince Mello. What happened to Valentina? She must have landed near the sky after she flew the coop. Sure, landing near the sky. I mean, we're walking on the sky, and there's a castle up here, so... You're looking especially fluffy today, Prince. Uh, there's going to be repeated messages. Oh, I just remembered. I pointed this out earlier, but that chest with the flower in it has disappeared. It's been replaced by an invisible chest with a frog coin. Long time no see, Prince Mello. This room is empty now. Long time no see.
This room is really out of place compared to the rest of the castle. So the only room that's like floor and no background. Prince Mello, you're such a crybaby. <laughs> My, have you grown prince? Why does the music restart when coming into this room? Before Valentina came, a fireworks lit up the sky every night. Some guy in Mulville would make the fireworks. I wonder if we'll ever get to see them again. How much money do I have? Enough to buy more fireworks. It's a marvelous statue, isn't it? We can finally walk around the castle and the town freely. People from down under will probably come too. That girl at the entrance will tell you who's here. This time, the prince is for real. Right? I'm so relieved the king wasn't ill. And hurrah for our prince! So the king was alright. I'm so happy for him. I knew it! I knew the prince couldn't be that heavy! Three cheers for the real prince! Star piece? Now that you mention it, I did see a star fall into that volcano over there. Now that we can go into the castle again, I think I'll go check out some statues. Have you seen the volcano? Not yet. The volcano's to the east. Sure wish I could take a deep in this bleh. Sure wish I could take a dip in the springs. People have been visiting us from the world down under. Even Croco came. So you remember a few minutes ago that person said that they left their houses empty? Say so, hey, we meet again. This here land is rich. It's got all it's got tons of loot, and I want it all. But hey, I'm not sweating. This device will tell me where the treasures are hidden. The rest of them are mine. All mine. Adios, fools. Found a signal ring. If you equip it, it'll ring at the location of a hidden treasure. Yes, this is kind of a thing. The king must be overjoyed having Prince Mallow back. Yeah, yeah, but the signal ring. Gonna go ahead and equip this real quick. Doesn't matter who equips it. So we'll equip it to Bowser. It has to be equipped in order to work. Noise indicates a hidden chest. So anytime you are on a map with a hidden chest, it makes a sound. So the first time I played this game, I came into here and it's like, oh, there's a hidden chest in here. Where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. I did not accidentally hit it. I can't find the chest. And it's like, what do I do? Where do I find it? And I come to this guy. Say, you have that I'm looking for something. Look in your eyes. What can I do for you? You can point out where this chest is. I'm looking for that chest. Well, as you saw, this chest is hard to find because it's not straight up. They actually made it tricky to find. You have to jump off the ledge in order to get to it. We can finally go in the castle. The king seems just fine. Garo's busy making statues of King Nimbus. He seems very happy. The bus is undergoing repairs. Yeah, see? I told you this was not going to be the boss arena. Though that would have been pretty cool. 
fighting like a big giant boss over the edge of this cloud. It looks like it should be a boss arena. Prince Mallow! That was splendid work! You are every bit a prince! Air quotes. If it weren't for you, Garo, we'd never have pulled it off. We definitely owe you one. Thanks, Mello. I'm really glad everything worked out. Mello, you are indeed a true prince.